Hey, so this video talks about a big plot twist from Persona 4, but said plot twist is already common knowledge in a lot of circles, so I have no clue whether this disclaimer is pointless or not. Do whatever you want. I'm not your boss. Also harassing people I talk about is bad. So I played an obscure indie game called Persona 4 Golden. It was an interesting experience. As you can see, I've spent the last couple months of my life shitposting about Persona 4. I'm considering making a video about my conflicted feelings on the game, but all you need to know for now is that there's just something about Persona 4 that lends itself to that type of humor. And when it comes to Persona 4 shitposts, there's one character who takes a cake. Adachi is one of the major antagonists in Persona 4 and the one who orchestrated the murders the game centers on. And his online presence is pretty chaotic. If the Persona series is mentioned in any context, whether positive or negative, there's a good chance Adachi's handsome face will show up. They actually got a comment requesting a video on him before I played the game, but I didn't take it that seriously. But little did this commenter know that as soon as I would start Persona 4, I would fall down the Adachi rabbit hole. On top of genuinely being in my top 3 characters from the game, Adachi is part of what I like to call the gnome cycle. Step 1. Randomly find something mildly funny. Step 2, shitpost about said thing and beat it into the ground. Step 3, repeat the process until the heat death of the universe. As opposed to, say, Komeda, Adachi's online presence doesn't have a long and complex history. He was already a popular character, Persona 4 became really easy to obtain thanks to the Steam port, and then bada bing bada boom, this one PNG is burned into my retinas. So instead of trying to pretend that this is some deep interconnected story, I'm just going to cover some of the highlights. Adachi starts out as a bumbling assistant to Detective Dojima. Some of his highlights include throwing up at a crime scene, accidentally revealing confidential information to civilians, and getting told to shut up by his superior. Without any prior knowledge, a player would think that he's a comic relief character who won't amount to anything in the story. Then some things happen and it's revealed that he's a serial killer who throws people into TVs because he's bored. Adachi is easily the most popular villain in the Persona series, and even as someone who didn't really care for Persona 4's story that much, I can't deny that Adachi is a great villain. He's a really entertaining and asshole character, he has what I would consider to be Johnny Young Boss's best performance, and he has some interesting parallels to the main character, Yu Narukami. But while all those things are significant contributions to his popularity, there's two major things that make him so memeable. First, there's the fact that he's specifically meant to be pathetic. His main reason for committing his various heinous acts is that he's a power-hungry loser who just so happened to get a supernatural ability because he was lucky. One scene with Adachi that particularly sticks out is the one right before his boss fight. He's giving a whole speech about his philosophy and why the world should be destroyed, and the investigation team's responses to the speech actually don't engage with any of his arguments, but that's because his beliefs are so shallow that there's nothing to engage with. Then, when you actually fight him, he is straight up one of the easiest bosses in an already easy game, so if a character as pathetic as Adachi, it's incredibly easy to make memes of him at his expense. The more important contributing factor to Adachi's meme status is a twist surrounding his character. Now, it's not like a seemingly innocent character turning out to be a major antagonist is a particularly groundbreaking twist, especially when it's been spoiled by basically everyone, but this twist is important because it essentially creates two different Adachis, one that's a bumbling idiot and one that's a complete monster. These two character roles are so drastically different that you can't help but juxtapose them. To better show you what I mean, all I need is a single image. The image in question is Adachi's neutral portrait. On its own, it's a pretty innocuous image. It's part of a set of portraits for basic emotions that you wouldn't spare much of a thought. Nearly any character in the game has similar portraits, and you wouldn't spare those ones much of a thought either. Well, except for this one from Yosuke that just exudes this douchey aura like he's about to refuse to give his bus seat to a pregnant woman. But when Adachi has this expression, there's something unique about it. You see, after Adachi's charade is revealed, he drops the act of a dim but ultimately kind person and shows more interesting facial expressions. These expressions include a smug grin, gritty teeth, cynical indifference, and evil laughter. This is also before considering the pre-boss fight portraits that have darker shading and glowing yellow eyes. Why this matters is because after seeing these facial expressions, the normal ones start to feel off. But because of this, Adachi's neutral portrait feels really humorous. Here's an experiment to show you what I mean. Let's say, hypothetically, I put an image of a Pikachu on screen. Now let's say I added some text that says, I am going to devour the internal organs of everyone you know and love. It's such an over-the-top juxtaposition. And that's exactly what looking at Adachi's neutral portrait with the knowledge of his villain status feels like. As a result, this portrait became a prime target
adapted for various memes and shitposts. There's plenty of image edits, including all-time classics like Society Adachi, Burn Adachi, These Nuts Adachi, Adachi Critic, and the Adachi Behind the Slaughter. But each and every one of these edits pale in comparison to Adachi's magnum opus, Adachi Vine Boom. Adachi. This is a really simple video with not much visuals beyond a slightly distorted Adachi portrait. By all means, it should not be as funny as it is. But that's a testament to the subconscious effect that Adachi's portrait has anyone who's even vaguely aware of his character. The Steam port of Persona 4 Golden was a major part of Adachi's rise to mild internet stardom, and Steam has a bunch of community features. And since Steam is filled with only the most intellectual of people, it's only natural that a subset of Steam users would be willing to talk about the society man himself. The screenshots tab features people so awed by the existence of this beautiful man that they can only see his name. The artwork tab features worthy tributes to everyone's favorite character. And the guides tab has ascended beyond a place where you can find guides to a video game, and has now become a place where you can find guides to life. Go all of the Steam ports mentioned so far are indeed hood classics, so there's a way to make your PC Persona experience even better. Enter the Persona 4 Golden PC modding community. Through this community, you have a plethora of options to turn your gaming experience into a religious experience. You can get a mod that lets you play as the society man. You can give Adachi the iconic drip of Tyler Ninja Blevins. Most importantly, you can install a mod that turns every model into Adachi. But why stop at putting Adachi into one game? Guilty Gear fans modded him over Happy Chaos, Smash Ultimate fans modded him over Jocker, and SMT5 fans modded him over the protagonist within mere days of the game's release. Sooner or later, every character in every game will become Adachi. No matter what Discord server you're in, there will be an Adachi poster. Adachi posters are members of a given Discord server that will constantly post about him. These individuals will either change their profile picture to him to show their love, or have their profile picture be unrelated to Adachi entirely so they can blend in with the other users. From there, they'll flock to the server's meme channel and constantly post memes and videos that involve the society man himself. But there's a secret weapon they have at their disposal, Tenor. I talked about Tenor before, but long story short, if you post a GIF to this website, it will show up in Discord gift searcher and be ready for spamming, and Adachi posters have gotten a whole lot of mileage out of this feature. If you're an Adachi GIF connoisseur, you have a wide spectrum of options. You can keep it simple and stick to animations from the fighting games, or you can go the extra mile and use GIFs of him dancing, or you can use websites like MakeSweet to edit his beautiful face into a heart locket or something else like that. And then there's this final one, featuring Adachi with a cabbage, an object that has no relation to him whatsoever. Alright, so we'll talk for a moment. In the unlikely event that you, the viewer, are going to end up making a video game or a cartoon or anything like that, there's one thing that is absolutely important to know. Do not, I repeat, do not specify what foods your characters like to eat. Within the fanbase of every piece of fiction, there are extraordinarily powerful sleeper agents that will awaken as soon as a character even vaguely hints at liking a specific type of food. From there, they will undergo an agonizing brainwashing process where they completely forget any other aspect of the character in question and then devote their entire being to making memes about that character's love of that one food. No matter what piece of media the character is in, they will be targeted. Anime, comics, and yes, video games. Even Adachi is not immune. He said he liked cabbages once, so now there are memes about how much he likes cabbages. You know, on second thought, maybe this wasn't worth devoting an entire section of the video to. You know that scene I brought up earlier where Adachi gives a whole speech about why he thinks the world should be destroyed? I looked up a video of that scene just to refresh my memory, and I made the horrible mistake of going into that video's comment section. Turns out, a lot of people unironically agree with Adachi's philosophy. Now, there's a handful of people who have gripes with how the scene is structured, which is perfectly fine. But then there's people who 100% unironically think the guy who killed two people, attempted to kill even more, and wants to destroy the world is in the right. I was originally going to make a joke about how all the people agreeing Fadachi sound like the Batman vs Joker image that everyone memes on, but then I found comics that are basically saying the exact same thing as that image. I'm sorry to say this, but if you're agreeing with the guy who has an entire scene dedicated to showing that he's a misogynistic pedophile, then you're kind of a clown. Also, while we're on the subject of annoying edgelords, can we cool it with the joke of him being a thought slayer or whatever? I'm not saying people can't make jokes about dark topics like misogyny, but come on. There's gotta be some more effort than just woman bad. Yeah, I've got nothing. Video over.